Well, new tonight at 5, police in Northwest Suburban Hoffman Estates are investigating two murders in just the past week. Now there are developments in both cases. That's right. WGN's Mike Lowe now live at the Hoffman Estates Police Department to bring us the latest. Mike. And good evening to both of you. Hoffman Estates Police have closed two homicide investigations in the last week, and they say in both cases it appears that the victim knew the person responsible for their death. Usually for, a very quiet town. Yeah. Paul and Karen Mueller that was what I thought was weird are discussing a disturbing situation with their neighbors along Glen Lake Road in Hoffman Estates. I saw an elderly man in the yard, which caught me off guard because I know it's a young couple with a baby over there. And then probably maybe 15, 20 minutes later, there was an ambulance out there. It all happened Saturday afternoon in a home nestled in a cul-de-sac behind the Mueller's. Oh, the little white house right there. And they were taking the elderly man away in the ambulance. Hoffman Estates police say a 75-year-old man named Chung Kim was involved in an altercation inside of this home. His death was ruled a homicide by blunt force trauma to the head. But police say Kim was the aggressor in the fight, and they say ring doorbell footage and witness statements verified that. The person who hit him was not charged and was released from custody. I'm kind of freaked out because he, he died. At the home today, a woman who answered the door declined to answer questions. Meantime, Hoffman Estates police say they've made an arrest on another homicide case. 20-year-old Roberto Avila Juarez was found dead in the 200 block of West Berkeley Lane last Tuesday. This morning, police say they arrested a 17-year-old suspect and charged him with first-degree murder. Investigators say the two teenagers knew each other and the killing was not random. And that teenager who was arrested is being held at the Cook County Juvenile Detention Center. His court date has not yet been set. Reporting live tonight in Hoffman Estates, Mike Lowe, WGN News. Mike.